Ladies and gentlemen, as always, it is a great ple pleasure and privilege to be back at the World uh, Policy Conference. And I can tell you, usually a moderator comes on stage and says, welcome to a very timely session. But I can tell you, this time, it is really heartfelt uh, because the session, of course, is titled Climate Change, Is There Still a Collective Will? And I couldn't have asked for two better individuals uh, to guide us through this uh, very timely, indeed, conversation a few weeks before COP28 right here in this very country. To my immediate left, of course, somebody who needs very little introduction in this part of the world and increasingly beyond. Nonetheless, I will give one anyway. She is, of course, the UAE Minister of Climate Change and Environment. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mariam al -Heri. And I'm equally delighted because when we talk about COP, obviously COP28 is the one we're all very excited about. But there was one COP, COP21 in particular, in Paris that set the standard very high for all the following ones, the Paris Climate Agreement obviously being the main result of this. We have the president of the COP21 with us. He's currently the president of the French Constitutional Council and needless to say, a former French prime minister. Please welcome Laurent Fabius. <laughs> Madam Minister, let's dive right into it. First of all, thank you for making time. I, I know your schedule must be super busy. We're only a few weeks uh, until COP28 gets underway in Dubai. And uh, you will be hosting the world, you just told me backstage, more than 100 heads of state, including the Pope, have co confirmed their attendance. So the, the eyes of the world will be on you. And uh, you're also, aside from being the Minister of Climate Change and Environment, you'll also be leading the UAE delegation for COP. Give us a glimpse here, and we have the privilege of having you, so obviously I cannot pass up the opportunity of asking, how are the preparations coming along? Thank you so much, Ali. Thank you for having me, and let me first say what a pleasure it is to share the stage with uh, Laurent, and thank you so much for your time here today. I know you've had some great sessions. It is 27 days until COP28 starts, and you can imagine us as a country we're extremely excited to welcome the world, uh, and uh, the time is so critical to have all countries convene in a place that is serious and committed on the climate journey. Um, the UAE has a great track record when you look at where we are on the uh, energy transition. Uh, as you know, we house uh, three of the largest solar parks. We're just embarking on wind energy. We've got also the nuclear power plant. We've really diversified, and today more than 70% of our GDP is non-oil based. So we have a track record, uh, the geography of the UAE, and also um, our bridge building abilities with so many countries makes us really the ideal place to convene the world to talk about climate action. And as you know, we're off track. We all know that. Uh, the first global stock take will happen at COP28. This is a huge endeavor to let us know what are the gaps, how do we have to course correct. I think it's really important that everyone realizes this is the time we need to unite this is the time when we need to look at solutions and upscaling the solutions really quickly. And uh, for us, the solutions-based unification of the world to combat climate change uh, is so critical. And that's why we're actually extremely excited. Um, preparations are underway, Ali. Um, uh, we can always uh, look at what else needs to, to be done, but from our experiences in the other COPs, uh, from looking at what we want to achieve in this COP, I think we're well underway. And of and course, the, the we will. Country. Yes, for certain. And of course, we will talk more about your aspirations and expectations and the many sticking issues that will have to be addressed once COP gets under underway. But but you could not have been more blunt in the past and in present, saying the house is on. Fire And uh, 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 Mr. President, that is, of course, something that uh, the, uh, unites us all, the collective will, at least on paper. The house is on fire. We do want to get it e extinguished. Now, you, of course, have been the president of COP21, uh, and you have been part of every single COP since then. 
give us a glimpse. Uh, how has the tra trajectory changed throughout the years? What have been the biggest, most significant, and most notable differences uh, from COP to COP? Uh, thank you, and good morning to everybody. Um, what are the differences between uh, Paris in 2015 and Emirates today? Um, there are some differences. Uh, in Paris, um, the objective was to have a conjunction between three different planets. And today it's true, but the planets have evolved in a different way. What do I mean? The first planet is a scientific planet. It was very important in Paris that science, IPCC and all that stuff uh, be uh, more understood by the general public. Uh, it was done and since Paris, I think science and technology have improved very much. And I, therefore, I have no doubt about this scientific planet. Okay. The second planet is much more difficult. It's civil society. Uh, as far as general public is concerned, there is a greater awareness of the climate problem. Okay. As far as the cities are concerned, the NGOs, uh, many companies, there have been improvements. Though, and we shall probably discuss that, there are some groups uh, which are still resisting. But the main uh, difference is about governments. Uh, in Paris in 2015, uh, we were lucky to have an international setting which was positive. In particular, a sort of alliance between US and China and diplomacy was such that we were able to get everybody together. Today, obviously, it's a different story, and it will be one of the main difficulties. Uh, and meanwhile, another difference, which is very important, is that uh, the situation of climate uh, is worse than it was before. Because we know that compared to Paris, in Paris, there are different commitments, but the main one was about the 1.5 degrees. And honestly, we are off track. And therefore, uh, there are similarities with Paris and there are differences. But my guess is that anyway, uh, the Emirates Cup, uh, Cup 28, is a decisive one because we are in danger and we hope that uh, this cup will be, uh, will be uh, helpful and a success. Yeah, the situation has in many ways has worsened as you have yeah. pointed out.